Good morning guys. It is Monday the 16th of August so it's five days since I found out that I am pregnant. Um, I've done <laughs> three more tests since then that have all come up positive. Um, actually I'll grab them and I'll show you guys because the I think it's the clear blue. Is that the right brand? Clear blue? Hold up. Sorry, not the clear blue, the first response. So this was the first one that I did um, the day I found out and you can see the line is really faint. And then I took this one the day after and then this one the day after that. So this was three days in a row and you can see the lines have just gotten stronger and stronger. And then I took this one yesterday. Sorry, the lighting's all weird. I took that one yesterday and it says pregnant. So it's the weirdest feeling, honestly, because I still kind of don't believe that it's real, but obviously it is real. Like four positive pregnancy tests isn't like, that's not an accident. So yeah, very excited. Ben and I are both just over the moon in a little bubble at the moment. Like we can't believe that this is our reality right now. Um, but I thought I'd pick up the vlogging camera today because we are heading to the first doctor's appointment. So I booked this last week. I was actually due for my period on Saturday. If you guys watched my pregnancy announcement video, you would have seen that I actually took the pregnancy test before I'd even missed my period. So I took the test Wednesday and I was due for my period on Saturday. It is now Monday still have no period. So um, I kind of wanted to wait until I definitely had like a missed period to go and see the doctor. Um, so yeah, I'm booked in this morning. Ben has had to go to work today, but he's coming to the doctor's appointment and then just heading back to work afterwards. We haven't told anyone yet. So it actually feels really weird, kind of nice, but like weird to talk out loud to someone other than Ben. <laughs> like I know you guys are just a camera, but it's like the most bizarre feeling ever. Um, and I've felt really strange over the past few days not being able to like say anything or tell anyone what is happening, I guess. Um, I'm like a huge oversharer. I love talking to my friends and my family about things that are going on in my life. And this is the one thing that I can't talk about. So <laughs> it's like, I'm finding it very difficult, but yeah. It's kind of nice to just pick up the camera and chat to you guys and document everything. So yeah, that's what's happening this morning. I'm pretty sure this morning's doctor's appointment will just be to like confirm that I'm pregnant, maybe do a blood test and then chat to my GP about moving forward. And what, I, I mean, I don't know, I've never done this before, but I'm assuming I had to fill out like a questionnaire and I had to say like currently what my birth preferences are <laughs> if I wanna go like just through GP shared care or through like a birth center or a midwife center. So I'm sure I'll talk to her about that as well. Um, and then I'm pretty sure you don't have your first scan until about week seven or eight. So currently I'm like halfway through week four. So I'm still very, very early. Um, so yeah, I doubt we'll be having a scan for at least like another month, but we'll see. I'm sure I'll find out all of the information today. <laughs> all right. My chauffeur came and picked me up and we've just pulled up at the doctor's. I don't think I'm gonna be able to film when we get in there cause like, I think that's kind of, I don't know. I don't, I just don't think I can do that. Um, but yeah, we've got a bunch of questions we wanna ask and I guess I'll just fill you in when we come out. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. Alrighty guys, I am back home. Um, it's been a couple of hours. Ben's gone back to work, but I thought I'd just give you a little update on how our doctor's appointment went. It, I don't know, it's like it all feels way more real, but then also still very surreal because it's still very early. So technically I'm only four and a half weeks, um, which is very, very, very early. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a very strange feeling, but the doctor's appointment was really great my GP was lovely that was the first time I ever went to her yeah she was really great she was really lovely she chatted to us about like the process for screening all of the tests that need to get done um, 
what to expect over the next few months, I guess. We do have one extra screening test that we want to do just because Ben is a carrier of the CF gene. Um, so I think I'm going to also get tested, do like a genetic test for myself. We just want to kind of like be aware of all of that stuff um, and just know what we're getting into, I guess. So hold up, I'm going to go inside because my neighbors just arrived out the front of the house. I didn't really want them to hear me <laughs> talking to myself, especially about this stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm going to book in for that test soon. That's like a separate blood test that I'm going to get done. We've got the dating scan booked in around the seven week mark and then another doctor's appointment around the eight week mark as well. Yeah. And I obviously got a blood test today and did a urine sample as well. So I'm waiting to get those results, but that's basically just to check on like my iron levels, my vitamin D levels, my HCG levels, which are like the, the pregnancy hormone. So yeah, it's all pretty straightforward at the moment. It's just very like, I, I don't know how to explain it. I feel like nothing has happened yet that's made me feel like this is real. I don't think until we go to the dating scan and I hear a heartbeat, I feel like it's all just going to feel really strange. So yeah, that's it for now. That's the update. I'll probably continue this vlog in a couple of weeks at our dating skin. Hello guys, we are back. It is a couple of weeks after the last clip. I don't know how many weeks, but I'm currently seven weeks pregnant today. Um, and we are on our way to our dating scan, which is very like exciting, but um, nerve wracking at the same time. It's kind of like the first time we'll get to see the little baby and hopefully see or hear a heartbeat. It's still really early and usually um, people do the dating scans at about eight weeks, which is originally when we had it scheduled for, but this Sunday is actually Father's Day and we really, really want to surprise our parents this weekend and tell them that we're pregnant. Um, so we wanted to push forward the dating scan so that we could get the ultrasound pictures to like show our parents as a part of like the surprise of telling them. Um, so yeah, it's all very exciting. I feel like this week for me, it's like really <laughs> hit hard with like first trimester symptoms and stuff. I think I'm going to make a separate video about all of that. I've been keeping notes in my phone of like week by week how I'm feeling, even day by day how I'm feeling because it just changes so quickly. Um, and yeah, I feel like week six for me has been the toughest yet. The last few days have been the toughest yet. So I've just eaten some KFC chippies. <laughs> the only thing I can stomach right now is like bread or potato basically. My diet has been shocking but it's literally the only thing I can eat. So yeah, all very exciting. I just really hope that everything goes okay at the scan. Oh my gosh, guys, that was a roller coaster. Before I stress anyone out, everything's good. Everything is really, really good. Strong heartbeat, healthy looking baby. Everything is just fine, but that was a roller coaster. <laughs> I got there and as soon as I walked into the office, I saw the receptionist holding like the previous patient's referral um, paper and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot my damn referral paper. And it was too late for us to go back home and get it. And so basically she said that she was gonna try and call my doctor and get it like sent through from my doctor, but it meant that I would have to be pushed back to like the next appointment so that they could take the next patient in, which is totally fine. Like I didn't want them to run late because of me, but obviously I had to drink a lot of water <laughs> before my appointment. So what is already a very full bladder then had to wait an extra half an hour totally my fault like fully my fault i'm not blaming anyone but myself and i was so annoyed at myself when it happened i don't know if i can use pregnancy brain or like baby brain as an excuse yet but i swear to god guys my brain in the last like week 
is just not working. It's just like, it's not there. Anyway, the girls in there were so lovely and they called my doctor and my doctor was really like quickly onto it. So we got it done, it was all good, but yeah. And then like the sonographer, I think that's what you call them. Like the people that do the actual ultrasounds. Um, she just wasn't saying anything the whole time. Like she was taking all of the measurements, which like fair enough, it's her job. Um, that's basically what the dating scan is, is like they take all the measurements of like my ovaries, my uterus, my cervix, the gestational sac, um, just everything. And that's basically what she was doing, but she was just like not talking at all. <laughs> and so I was sitting there watching this screen for like 15 minutes trying to work out what the hell was going on. And obviously in the last couple of weeks, I've done a lot of research myself. I know what like an early dating scan ultrasound picture should look like. I know what like the yolk sac looks like. And so I was pretty sure um, when she got to the yolk sac and she was like moving the um, thing around, I was pretty sure I saw a baby, but she didn't say anything. <laughs> and I'm sitting there and I'm like squeezing Ben's hand. Like, I'm pretty sure that's the baby. And then she just stopped and she was like, okay, um, that's all looking good. And I was like, is there a baby in there? <laughs> like, can you please confirm that there is a baby in there? And she was like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's the baby there. So yeah, I feel like I'm on a bit of cloud nine at the moment. I was so anxious leading up to this dating scan. And yeah, like I had to ask her what the heartbeat was. She showed us the heartbeat flickering on the screen and that was so cool. So yeah, everything's good. Everything's really, really good. I am measuring slightly earlier than I thought, but there's a little bit of confusion because my cycle, like my menstrual cycle is shorter than the average 28 days. So I'm not really sure. I think based on like the day that I think we conceived, which I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I'm pretty sure it was actually the day that we were supposed to get married. That might be TMI, but I just think that's really cool. Based on that, I should be seven weeks today, but I don't know, there's like a little bit of confusion because of yeah my cycle length and stuff. So I'll talk to my doctor about that next time I go in. But yeah, everything's good and I, I am so relieved. I'm puffed, <laughs> but I have been <laughs> for the last couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, puffed, but so relieved. Everything is good and I could not be happier. Hello guys. I am back with another update. It has been about a month since I last vlogged. This is not really like a super exciting update. I'm not doing anything exciting today. I don't have anywhere to go, no scans, nothing like that. But because it's been a month since I last updated you guys and I feel like the last month has been interesting, I feel like I need to document it and just update you guys and run you through, give you a little overview <laughs> of the last four weeks of my life. I am currently 11 weeks and two days pregnant. And I think the last time I vlogged, I just had my seven week scan where they dated me at six weeks and four days. So since then my due date has changed, which it only changed by like three days, which is not that big of a deal at all. Anyway, the last month <laughs> has been hectic. And I feel like, honestly, I wish I could have picked up the camera and vlogged for you guys during some of the days that I've had. But even that in itself, I was not able to do. I've been bedridden for a lot of the last three or four weeks. I've been very quiet on social media because I just have not had the energy to get up and do anything. I've been really struggling with morning sickness. And before I continue, I do wanna just say, like I wanna share the real and raw sides of all of this with you guys. Like I, I want to keep it real. I don't want to sugarcoat anything, but at the same time, I want you to know I am so, so, so incredibly grateful to even be in this position, to be sitting here and talking to you about my pregnancy. And I understand how lucky I am. And every time I had my head stuck in the toilet bowl vomiting, I just was still in so much disbelief that I've been blessed and so lucky to be pregnant and having a baby. So I am 
incredibly grateful for the position that I'm in and to be pregnant because I know that a lot of people aren't as lucky as I am in their journey to parenthood and my heart goes out to anyone that is struggling with infertility. I, yeah, I can't even begin to imagine what that is like, but I also don't want to sugarcoat things and I want to be real with you guys because when I entered pregnancy, the first thing I did was jump online and had a look at YouTube videos of other people talking about their real and raw experiences of their first trimester because I wanted to know what I was in for. I wanted to know what to expect in the coming weeks. I wanted the honest truth because I know that pregnancy isn't easy and some people say they glow and they love it and pregnancy is just the best thing ever. And then you have other people say it was the hardest nine months ever. And I, I wanted to be prepared for anything. So I really enjoyed sitting down and watching YouTube videos of people vlogging their first trimester, sitting down and talking about each of their symptoms that they experienced in each of their weeks. Like one of the first videos I watched was Zoella's first trimester vlog. And it was like a 45 minute video where she just sat down and she broke down week by week, all of the symptoms that she felt and like the way it kind of developed throughout her first trimester. Um, so I've been kind of keeping a log in my notes, similar to that, kind of to look back on, cause I think it's nice to look back and realize that like this week wasn't as bad as last week or whatever. But also for you guys, if you guys want me to do a video like that, cause I honestly found it so helpful. If you guys want me to sit down and film like an in-depth video, week to week of my symptoms and, and how things were changing and progressing. More than happy to do that. That's why I've been keeping the log. But I basically just want to, yeah, keep it real and include this in my first trimester vlog because the last three or four weeks for me have been a struggle. I would say like halfway through week seven to halfway through week 10. So just under a week ago now, my morning sickness was horrible. I could barely get out of bed. I most mornings was vomiting first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. If I hadn't eaten for any more than like two hours, I would vomit. Like I could not have an empty stomach. And I feel like they say when you're pregnant, your body digests food a lot slower, but I feel like everything I was eating, keep in mind, you can only really eat small amounts. That's all I could stomach was like a small meal every couple of hours but I felt like every time I ate, I was instantly hungry again. But then if I stopped eating for like an hour or two, I would get so nauseous to the point that I would vomit. And then add on to that, that you get so hungry, but everything sounds so, so disgusting. Like the thought of every single food made me want to vomit. It still kind of does. I'm still like very, very picky with what I'm eating. Earlier today, I ordered Uber Eats for myself for lunch and it took 45 minutes to get here. And by the time it arrived, gross, did not want it. Disgusting. It was like something had just clicked in that 45 minutes where I was like, ew, I can't eat that. And that is pregnancy for you. <laughs> just nothing makes sense. Um, and I've had to come to terms with that because I'm very much a planner. I try and make sense of everything and plan ahead for everything. You can't do that in pregnancy, particularly your first trimester. It is just not a thing. You, you don't do it. Um, you've just got to take each day as it comes. And yeah, morning sickness is not just a morning thing. It can hit you at any time of the day. It can be an all day thing. It can be a nighttime thing. It doesn't have a set schedule. So yeah, the last three and a half, four weeks for me have been lots of vomiting, lots of food aversions, uh, lots of naps during the day. I've been struggling to stay awake for like a whole day. I've been I've probably around like one or two o'clock in the afternoon. I'd get really, really tired and like physically just could not do anything. I had to lay down and close my eyes. So still kind of like that on and off. Some days I definitely have more energy than others. And the same with like food and everything, my nausea right now, I'm really, really nauseous. Um, but I had like two days ago, a full day of just no nausea. I felt great. I had really great energy levels. So every day is kind of different at the moment, but I definitely feel like I've been through the thick of it now. I feel like weeks eight to 10 were rough. Um, 
but it's just all so worth it. It is so, so worth it. And I feel like you guys just needed this little update. Otherwise it would have been a complete blank of like a month in this vlog where you just didn't hear from me. So that is like a little recap of <laughs> what has been happening, which is honestly not much. It's just been my head in the toilet bowl, um, my bedside table full of every different snack you can think of because one minute I'd feel like something and then the next minute I wouldn't or I would crave something so much. Like I, I craved salt and vinegar chips so badly, ate half a packet, vomited them up. Don't want salt and vinegar chips anymore. We also, I had my NIPT done last week, which is a blood test that tests for like Down syndrome and a bunch of other like chromosome stuff but you can also find out the gender in that test. It's the earliest way to find out the gender of your baby. So we did that last week, but we haven't received the results yet. Hopefully, I'm hoping that any day now I'm gonna hear from my doctor. And then I've got my antenatal, my first antenatal midwife appointment next week. Um, and then my, my next scan is next week as well. And I'm so excited for that because baby now has fingers and toes and like is looking like a little baby not just a blob in my uterus so I'm so excited for the next scan because I feel like it's just gonna really hit home even more that I am growing a baby like still can't believe it still can't comprehend it I also just realized I forgot to mention you can probably hear it in my voice I actually caught a cold at the end of last week. So the end of my 10th week, I got really, really sick with a, well, not really, really sick. I think I just caught it from my niece and nephew, like one of those kindy daycare colds. But because my immune system is much weaker at the moment, just cause like everything's going towards the baby. I think it just like hit me really hard, like a ton of bricks. And I was just in bed snotty for days. Um, I had one day where I had really like a really, really bad migraine all day. I couldn't even look at my phone or like a screen or anything. So yeah, that was kind of fun <laughs> battling that as well as morning sickness. There was one, probably one or two days where I was like in between vomiting and just coughing and snotty and migraines. It was not fun, but you can probably hear it in my voice. I'm like fine now. I just have that like residual like mucus just sitting in my throat, just trying to make its way out. So every now and then I need to cough and it kind of just like comes up and makes its way out, which is lovely. Okay guys, just got a call from the doctor. It's the same day as the last clip you saw. I filmed like a clip earlier, just updating them on like my morning sickness and stuff. Yeah. and explained that we'd had the NIPT done and I was just waiting on my results. Um, we've got them. She's just emailed them to me. I spoke to her on the phone. She said that everything is all perfect with it, like chromosome, genetic conditions, everything. She said it was fine, which is the main thing. Baby is healthy and that is basically all that matters. But... <laughs> The exciting part for us now is that we are about to find out the gender of our baby. Let's final guesses. And you have to guess, know. he's been avoiding, <laughs> he's been avoiding it for so long because you just don't want to be wrong. You just hate being wrong, <laughs> but you have know. to guess. No idea. No, you have to guess. Well, I have to guess. You yeah, have yeah. to, because you get <laughs> Put your ego to the side and guess. For your girl. <laughs> I don't know. Come oh, on, oh, just guess. I don't want to guess. You said girl the other day, but then yeah. you like very quickly, you were like, oh, but I don't know though. You think it's a boy? So I don't know. Yeah, I think it's a boy for some reason. I've just had a strong feeling for a while now that it's a boy. You so girl, I'll go girl. If you're going boy, are you on boy? Yeah, I I'll think it's girl. a boy. It's one of us has to be. Right. <laughs> I don't know how quickly I'm gonna like see it. Like, just touch the thing. 
Give me a name. It's a girl. <laughs> it's a girl. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's a girl. girl. Holy moly. I thought it was a boy this whole time. I thought it was a boy. But I have heard that apparently girls are prone to making you feel sick. Like Not much on there for a 500 <laughs> test. <laughs> Although I wonder if the doctor gets like a more in-depth version of it. Yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, I've heard that girls can make you more sick, like with morning sickness and stuff. And because I've been quite sick, I was like, hmm, maybe it's a girl. I don't, I don't know. But I don't know how accurate those like, um, what do you call them? Like theories are. Mm. Koopy, you gonna have a baby sister? He does not care at all. Kippy, you have a baby sister? Baby. <laughs> he just Kippy. wants to play. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. Okay, but it's gonna wow. be even numbers. Oh yes! I'm not outnumbered anymore! Mm -hmm. I'm not outnumbered anymore! You're gonna have a little baby sister. You ready? Yeah, I'm not ready either. Are you ready for a baby sister? I'm ready. It is a week later. I am currently 12 weeks and four days pregnant. And we are off to see our baby girl. We've got our 12 week scan today, um, which I'm very excited for, but um, also very anxious about. I feel like this is something that if you've been pregnant before, you'll understand, but the scans are essentially health checks. Like they are checkups on the baby. And this particular one is my new cool scan. There's always like a little bit of nerves going into scans. I feel even though it's like super exciting, the thought of like getting to see the baby again. And like, especially this time, our last scan was six weeks, so baby was just a little blob. Baby didn't even look like a baby then. There was just a little flicker of a heartbeat on the screen, um, and that was it. Whereas this one, we'll hopefully be able to see what looks like a baby this time. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So, yeah, I'm very excited, but just very nervous as well. Like, I feel like once this scan is over with, I've, like, hit that 12-week mark where... I don't know. I think hopefully I'll just be able to start relaxing and like enjoying the pregnancy. I've still been very, very nauseous, um, which isn't fun. I've vomited a couple of times this week. It is getting better. Like I'm vomiting less and less, um, but still vomiting. <laughs> so yeah, morning sickness is still here. I've heard that it can last until like 14 or 16 weeks. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So last time we went for a scan, we went to Queensland X-Ray um, and I didn't have like, I don't know, it wasn't the worst experience, but it just wasn't like the experience that I wanted, I guess. I feel like when it's your first baby, um, you just want it to feel a bit more special. And I know that they're health checks. Like I get that the sonographers are doing their job medically and they're looking at all of the medical stuff, but um, I think I might have mentioned after my first scan, but like the sonographer just wasn't talking and not saying anything. And like my nerves were so high that day. And I just wish that she'd kind of communicated with me a little bit more. But I've since spoken to my doctor and my doctor said like Queensland x-ray, they do a whole bunch of stuff. They do x-rays for all over the body, MRIs. They're not specifically like an obstetrics scanning place. So she said for your 12 week scan, if you want to, you can like book in with a private OB um, and they specialize in obstetrics and will be able to just make it a bit more personalized and make it feel a bit more like a pregnancy 
milestone, I guess. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to a private OB's office in Brisbane. I think it's at the Wesley. Um, it's just one that my doctor recommended to me. So yeah, hopefully the experience is like a little bit more exciting. Just like, I don't know how to explain it. Like I just want it to be all about the baby. And I really hope that they'll let me like film a little clip of Bub on the screen, maybe. Um, I don't know, we'll see, but yeah, that's the plan. While I've got you guys and while I've got some time, I'm gonna give you a little bump date um, cause I don't think I've shown you my bump yet. <laughs> so here we go. So like I said, I am 12 weeks and four days and I'm just like a little bit bloated. Like you can see baby girl is kind of sitting down here. I have a little belly that I just can't suck in. Like if I try and suck it in, that's me sucking in there. I've still just got that little bump. Oh, Ben just got home. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated with the bump growth. It definitely gets bigger at nighttime after I've had like a full day of eating. Um, and I've just had lunch, so we're like halfway through the day. Okay, it is the next day. I completely, Coop's little tappy toes. Um, I completely forgot to vlog after the scan yesterday. I was just like so distracted and on a high because it was such a cool experience. Like everything went so well. And I think after the scan, I was just so excited to share the photos with like my parents and friends and all of that, that I literally just forgot to update the vlog. Um, so it all went really well. We got to see baby girl and we got so many photos of her. She was moving around so much, like jumping and bouncing off the walls of my uterus, which is so weird to see because I can't feel anything yet. Um, but yeah, she was just like squirming and rolling around. It was so, so cool. We even got a little photo of her waving to us. <laughs> so cute. And then they also just gave us like a bunch of photos because obviously um, like the main purpose of the scan is that they want to check like all the health stuff. So they check that she's got two arms and two legs and 10 fingers, 10 toes, um, that like she's developing properly, spine, brain, heart, everything. Um, and so that was all good. There's no issues at all. Yeah, she's all healthy and everything is good. So we're obviously stoked about that, but because they check so much, she kind of just took photos along the way and we got given all of them, which is so cool. <laughs> I was definitely not expecting to come out of it with this many, wait, that way. So yeah, we're so happy. They tried to get 3D photos, but she was kind of in like a little hidey hole. So they struggled a bit to get a clear picture, but she just looks like a little alien. So cute. I'm just so happy knowing that she's healthy and that everything is going well. She actually measured a few days ahead. Um, and I think I updated you guys a few weeks ago that at, the, at our first scan, she was measuring a few days behind. <laughs> so I think she's like back on track um, with my like a first initial due date. Not that it really matters because it's the difference of like two or three days and babies don't really come on their due date anyway. so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, that is our 12 week scan update. Also a little update on Coop. I don't think he has any idea what's going on. He, like a lot of people say that dogs have an instinct and they know that there's like a baby in your belly. I don't think he has any idea. Yeah, Coop's broken. No, I think Coop just thinks Coop's living in Coop's world and nothing could come and ruin that. So, I just think he's totally oblivious. Like he is such an only child. <laughs> I just don't think in his mind anything could ever come and replace him. Not that he's ever gonna be replaced, but like, yeah, he just, he has no idea. Maybe once my belly gets a bit bigger and like baby starts moving and like kicking and he can see it or feel it, um, maybe that might be a bit different. Anyways, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here cause I'm pretty much, 
um, at the end of my first trimester now. I am 13 weeks um, and I think second trimester starts at like 14 weeks. So I'm not really going to have much else to update you guys on in the next week. But basically from here on, I'm just going to go back to normal vlogs. Um, this I think is going to be a big one just because it's like the whole first trimester. But yeah. Everything after this will just be normal vlogs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, and don't forget to subscribe as well if you want to follow along on this fun little journey together. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.